Back again for another edition of No Edits Crypto, episode 377 here on Monday, a little after noon Eastern time. A lot to cover. The market has been uh, pretty continuously going up until last night after the uh, 60 Minutes program, which I'll get into here shortly about Bitcoin Air. Uh, the price took a little bit of a plunge. I don't think it was... There was any causation between that story and the market, but two other stories in that recap in the market today. First off, Ethereum-based stock exchange plans first first company listing in June. Sprinkle Exchange, a stock exchange built on Ethereum, is reportedly listing its first company next month. Sprinkle Group CEO Alexander Wallen told Bloomberg in an interview published Monday, we have the luxury of being first with this but we are aware that it will become a crowded market. The Bahrain-based pla uh, platform operating within a regulatory sandbox created by the country's central bank uses a, de uses a decentralized clearing and settlement system that uses automation in order to reduce time and cost. Prices will be set using the Dutch auction method with Sprinkle Exchange taking 1% fee. Wallen told the news source that the cost of listing could be similar to a Swedish stock uh, Exchange, but you get global access and we'll can, and we can show That you also get better liquidity sprinkle exchange is aiming to attract companies with a market capitalization of 20 to 200 million dollars It expects to list 35 companies over the next 12 months and as a man and as many as 1,000 over the next few years as well as listed stocks the firm will offer trading and cryptocurrencies and also plans to add exchange traded funds in the future that's from Yogita Khatri of Coindesk. Second story, super positive, big time story for cryptocurrency. This is mega. You can now send and receive Bitcoin on WhatsApp. WhatsApp users can now send and receive Bitcoin and Litecoin via the popular messaging platform thanks to Lite.im bot. The announcement is, late, is the latest attempt to simplify the cryptocurrency transaction process bringing virtual currencies closer to the everyday person. In a tweet published by Zulu Republic on Sunday, May 19th, 2019, the digital platform announced that its cryptocurrency messaging platform, Lite.im, had introduced a simple way to send and receive Bitcoin via WhatsApp. The tweet from Zulu Republic reads, We are happy to announce that from today you can now send and receive Bitcoin and Litecoin on WhatsApp via Lite.im official. Try it yourself. So, uh, huge news. He goes on to say, all users have to do is add the Light I Am WhatsApp bot and follow the on-screen prompts. There are numerous options for users apart from sending and receiving Bitcoin and Litecoin. The service also allows people to earn crypto via a referral program. There are also options that allow users to set their default coin as well as select their preferred language. Currently, it is available in English and Spanish. The service also supports sending and receiving Ether and ZTX, a native token on Zulu platform. So I can't express how big of a deal that is. Uh, people all over the world that use WhatsApp to communicate can now exchange value peer-to-peer -peer through blockchains and uh, the application of cryptocurrency. Third story is last night, uh, 60 Minutes. Uh, CBS program uh, in the United States, Australia, I don't know where else they have it, uh, UK, uh, England, I don't know where, all, all the countries that, that it airs in. But uh, they did a story on Bitcoin and uh, featured Charlie Schramm, uh, the former CEO of, I think he's a CEO of BitInstant, um, the creator of BitInstant, and, um, uh, you know, well-renowned. Bitcoin enthusiast. Uh, either way, uh, the story, a lot of people were wondering if it was um, going to be a positive or a hit piece type of story because most of the media and the mainstream has been a hit against uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. I have to say that it was pretty well measured. However, the I mean, half the story focused on uh, Charlie Shrem and didn't really get into any of the... Um, advancements in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. Bitcoin's been around, you know, now for 10 years. And um, they kind of treated it, in my opinion, like it's some currency, that's, you know, some new uh, innovation that's only been around a couple years when it's really been around 10 years already. And we're, 
you know, now institutional money's getting involved, and um, just all of the all of the having the having's coming up in Litecoin and Bitcoin both Litecoin first this year, in a few months, and then Bitcoin later on next year. So uh, there's just a lot more they could have mentioned about um, why people were using it, what's going on, all of the stores now, you know. 30,000 or whatever it is uh, stores across the country. They're getting ready getting ready to accept cryptocurrencies including Whole Foods Lowe's caribou coffee uh, Just numbers of places that are going to be accepting it now. So uh, Happy to see that they're covering it, but uh, they could have done a little better job of explaining what's what is happening Maybe they'll get into that in a future episode here. Hopefully soon into the market, Bitcoin down 1.36%, $7,820.29. Really having trouble breaking that $8,300 resistance and uh, has tested it now twice, two or three times, and uh, had a pretty bad uh, pretty bad drop this morning, around $300. I mean, it's nothing crazy. It's already starting to bounce back on the hourly the last couple of hours, but uh, it dipped below um, $7,850. And uh, has gone back up and now below it again, so it's kind of teetering around. Uh, strong resistance seems to be 7,800, so we'll wait and see if we're going to go back up and test 8,300 again. Ethereum down 2.91%, $245.66. Bitcoin Cash down 2.33%, $399 even. Uh, EOS uh, down 2.0% even, $6.15. Litecoin down 3.27%, $89.67. Binance coin down 1.63%. I can't believe it. It's almost $30. It's $28.41. USD. Monero up 2.22%, uh, $86.50. Like, or, uh, Dash up 10%, $163.93. Dash, the big hitter today. Ethereum Classic down 3.12%, $7.30. NEO down, up 6.34%, $12.07. Steam now 2.74%, 35 cents. Flash at 0.00312 cent. Currently down 39% for the last 24 hours. Flash had a pretty solid weekend and now a little step back. Aggregate market cap still over 240 billion at 242 billion, 400 million, 231,000. And Bitcoin dominance dropped down from 60% region down to 57.24. So that is the wrap up. Everyone, enjoy your Monday.